What's up guys, it's Drew with Profit Monsters. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing a what sold video consisting of all tools and big bolo brands to be on the lookout for with vintage tools specifically. I recently had the opportunity by making an ad on the Nextdoor app to um, hit up somebody whose husband passed away a long time ago and they had a storage unit full of vintage tools. It was actually the second time going back to this person's house. This was a, a deal I made eight months ago and we exchanged numbers and she said, when I'm ready to sell more stuff, I'll let you know. And so yeah, this opportunity came and it was all tools this time. Looked through the garage, found some great stuff. We came to an agreement at $530 for everything that I bought. And you will see that I've sold about 40 items so far from that lot and I've made quite a bit of money, which I will share at the end. So hopefully you guys learned something. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section and make sure to hit that thumbs up button before we start this video. It would help me out, it helps the channel out and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying these types of videos. So let's get right into it and share some of these items with you guys. All right, so first up you are going to see is this Lisley brand uh, 18000 camshaft bearing tool in excellent condition. Uh, this is just one of the items. I'm not going to claim to be an expert on any of these tools. So I just want you guys to know I'm going to read the listings. I'm going to show you the pictures and then obviously you can know that it can either be something to look out for or maybe the brand specifically because I don't know much about these myself. I look up comps and that's literally how I made sales and uh, created prices for everything because I am not an expert on tools. But as you can see, this is a camshaft bearing tool. All the pieces were there. Um, this little spot right here that looks empty is that black piece right at the tip of the unit. Um, so it's definitely there. And yeah, this sold for full asking price of $139.99, free shipping. And this went uh, UPS or FedEx ground, I can't remember, it cost me about 11 or 12 bucks to ship. So there's definitely, um, you're gonna see a lot of these sold with shipping, but a few sold free shipping, that's just cause I priced it similar to what the other listings were there or a little bit lower by maybe offering free shipping to sell mine versus the one or two that were listed. Cause I didn't know how long this stuff was gonna sit. I still have a full tote uh, bin full of tools. So, all right, next one. This is a Mopar Essentials Toolkit, a terminal toolkit or something like that. Honestly, I don't even know what this does either. I just typed in exactly that name that you see right there, Electric Terminal Toolkit. And then on the front of the box, you can see uh, Miller Specials Tools, Electric Terminal Toolkit right there, 1897. So, I mean, yeah guys, it's just $110 plus shipping for this. The guy who bought it was actually in my area and offered to come pick it up. And I tried to give him the money back on shipping and he said, don't worry about it. I was saving him. Um, I was like a miracle and a half for him to be able to find this on eBay and for it to be local. So um, really nice guy who ended up picking this up and just a great sale again. So pretty cool there. Next up is this Chrysler Gold Award uh, Tool Tester, a digital multimeter. And you will see on this one, I sold for $25 plus shipping. The owner of this unit, her her husband was, um, you can see that says 1986 on it. This guy had worked for a Dodge Chrysler dealership for like well over 35, almost 40 years. And they gave out like awards and stuff for people who had been there for, you know, certain amounts of years. And this was just one of those things. And this goes back to 1986. There were a lot of like snap on um, and Mac tools, like gold plated wrenches at the unit, but she wanted to keep those. So unfortunately I didn't get any of those, but this was one of the items she let go and it still sold for $25 plus shipping. Next is a Vermont American 40 piece metric uh, tap and die set. This, everything that I got from this guy was in amazing condition, was complete with original manuals, catalogs, paperwork, everything. You'll see how good of condition most of this was. And it was just an awesome piece, uh, an awesome deal to find. So this right here is um, the tap and die set. And you can see here, everything's there. This sold for full price, $129.99 plus shipping. Next up is this Mac Tools Probe Kit. I honestly don't know what these do, but Mac Tools is a brand that you guys need to know. So, and they all had like their original cases. You can see right here, the model number is on the case. 
uh, ET130K. And I type that in on eBay and it pops up for me. And most of this stuff, because it's older stuff, there's only one or two listed and definitely not in the condition that all of my stuff was that I picked up. So this sold for $45 free shipping. This one, I believe I fit in a padded flat rate envelope and shipped for like seven bucks. Next up is a Blue Point Magnetic Angle Locator. Uh, and this is Snap-on brand, I believe. Um, Snap-on Incorporated. So again, I just type in exactly what you see here on the, the front of this unit and took a couple of different pictures of it. This one had comps and it sold for full price of $26 plus shipping. Next up, you're going to see a lot of these little bundles because the owner of this unit had tons and tons of vintage Snap-on Mac Craftsman uh, locking, you know, tools and sockets. Vintage sockets, Snap-on Craftsman, like I said, those brands, Mac tools, are major bolos. A lot of these sets you will see were missing pieces, which I included in the description right here. Missing three pieces, and this was a uh, eight-piece metric shallow set size 14, 13, 12, 11, missing the 10 and the nine and the three, um, or it was missing the 15. I can't remember when I looked up the set, uh, but it was four to 14 millimeter was the set there. And so I kind of left the spaces for the, um, oh, it was missing the seven, the nine and the 10. So I left the gaps right there. Uh, but as you can see, it sold for 69.99 plus shipping. Almost every tool that I sold was a full price sale with no offers. And that's really why I wanted to share this video with you guys is because almost every single tool that I sold required very minimal work to take pictures of, no cleaning whatsoever, and uh, it's just an excellent condition. This is an Allstate engine vacuum and fuel pump tester gauge compression tester. I don't know what all this does other than the fact that it tests compression of some sort. This was all together in a, in a bag and uh, so I took pictures of it and listed it. And sure enough, it sold for $39.99 plus $15 shipping. So really happy with that sale. These were in the bundle with all the tools. They, the guy was a collector, obviously, of some sort for the dealership he worked for. This was a limited edition run of die cast cars for like 2006, I believe. 2000, no, 2014, sorry. Uh, these are, it's like a Jeep, a Dodge. Um, you can see a Dodge 2500. And there's a bunch of other stuff um, in this in this listing as well as far as the cars are concerned and I've sold whoops I've sold two of these for uh, $39.99 plus shipping already and I think I have six or seven of them total here's another socket set this is a Cornwell socket set this is another brand that's new to me but it's a great bolo to be on the lookout for this sold for $60 plus shipping it was a six piece uh, metric set one quarter inch drive so you need to know your drive sizes and what those drive sizes are is that little square that you're going to see here on the top of these is actually the bottom of the tool that attaches to a socket um, a socket wrench and so there's a quarter inch half inch and three quarter inch are the three main sizes that you'll see uh, if i'm not mistaken correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, um, I'm not a tool expert by any means, but you can see like I just took a couple pictures where you can see the model. And again, for this type of listing, people will ask, how did you know what to type in? On the the, the largest socket here, you'll see TM-0214. And that's what I typed in. And then I found another listing similar. And I just typed in that, you know, there were certain ones that I was missing. So... Next up is this Ingersoll Rand reciprocating saw. Ingersoll Rand is apparently a great brand to be on the lookout for. And uh, the, the blade itself was actually not even in very good condition, but the unit is what's really popular, I guess. And so um, this is, as you can see, in not the best shape, but these are still very popular apparently. And uh, it's an air tool, so it plugs into a compressor. This was sold for $34.99 free shipping and went first class. Next up is another set of sockets with missing tool with missing sockets. Um, and actually, I didn't even notice this, but my main picture was blurry. So, and I still ended up selling this, but you can see I, you know, laid them out here. This is probably the best picture to go off of. You can see that they're missing, but this is a Mac Tools socket set with the original carrier from like, I believe the 80s. Um, and you can see right here, the uh, the socket sets right here, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
missing the 13, missing the 16, missing the 7, and I put all that in the description. It's still sold for $59.99 plus $12.99 shipping. Uh, this was a Mac Tools carburetor adjusting tool. Again, everything here you can just see right there. There's a part number on the tip and um, right there, part number 4892017. Just like that is what I type in and that's how I get comps. An easy little sale, this was lightweight and it went first class. Now I sold some individual sockets that didn't have matching sets. You'll see that this is a Snap-on 11 16 six point deep socket. And there's model numbers right there, TS221. Uh, and these are all made in the USA tools. This one socket right here, guys, you can see it's even in rough shape, like it's beat up. But Snap-on is one of those Bolo brands to be on the lookout for. And uh, this sold for $14.99 plus $4.99 shipping for one socket. Next up is these magnetic so socket trays. I almost said soccer. Magnetic socket trays, these right here. Um, were really dirty as you can see. I ended up cleaning them up before I shipped it, but I just found that they, I listed them. You know, you can see the old Mac Tools tag right there on the bottom. These are magnetic so that your sockets don't spill out, which is really cool. Um, and a lot of people really like this. So this sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Another Mac Tools set right here is an Allen socket set. And this was right here. Um, I just typed in the model of the Allen sockets, which you'll see right here. I think it was like X106DX, something DS, something like that. And this one sold for $60 plus shipping. Mac Tools. Um, I already showed you guys this one. I accidentally put it in there twice. This was a differential cylinder pressure tester. Again, guys, I know nothing about this. It's I'm still surprised by how much money I've made from this stuff. I was not expecting to make this many sales already. Uh, CLD 200M right there on the unit. I just typed it in on eBay and sure enough, it comes up differential mag cylinder pressure tester. And it comes up, this one sold for full price of 115 with free shipping. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Mac tools and snap on, Mac co. It just surprises me. Here is a impact gun adapter. This is just an adapter, guys. You can see the model number right there is all I typed in. Matco Tools, easy to recognize, easy to ship. $16.95 plus $3.99 shipping. What I love about vintage tools is that if you look up any of this stuff individually, you'll see that there are very, very few listed and very many sold. The sell-through rate on vintage tools is extremely high. They don't last very long. And um, yeah, they're going, going quick, so. Here's another Snap-on set. This was a 3 8 drive SAE set, uh, which is um, like the uh, drives that are one, labeled a quarter inch, three inch, five sixteenths, seven eighths for those of you guys kind of like me that are pretty much tool noobs. I don't really know. There's standard and metric. Um, I know that much. And so you have to describe that. You can see Snap-on right there on the top and then seven eighths, three sixteenths, three fourths, you know, all the different numbers, nine, nine, six, or whatever they are. There's so many of them, nine eighteenths or nine thirteenths. You guys that know tools are probably laughing at me right now, but you're not going to be laughing when you see that I sold this for $89.99 plus shipping, baby. Let's go for some sockets. That's crazy. Next up is a deep well double swivel joint socket. Uh, that's a, that's a mouthful and a half. Uh, this is Mac tools right here. And um, actually, I don't want to zoom in like that. I want to zoom in this way so you can see what this is. I don't even know exactly what all it does, but the model number is Mac Tools SC164. I typed that in, and uh, sure enough, it came up. And this sold for $29.99 plus shipping for a double swivel joint socket. Mechanics will pay up for stuff that they've either used in the past or brands that they stand behind. If you go talk to any mechanic at almost any dealership, they will tell you to stay away from Harbor Freight, stay away from Dollar Tree Tools, you know, all those types of brands. You know, they are very devoted to the brands that they like. Just like, you know, certain people are devoted to certain vintage tags, like vintage Fruit of the Loom tag or vintage Hanes tag or Gildan tag, whatever. Um, it's definitely something to be aware of with tools. People are die hard for their, their brands. This is a really cool sale. I ended up picking up two of these from that same from the same lady. As you know, all of this is from the same person, but these hood ornaments, these are for Dodge trucks, I believe, for a 1981 to 1993. 
And um, the only reason I know that is because uh, I typed in vintage Dodge Ram hood ornament with horns because the Dodge character doesn't figure whatever doesn't look like this anymore. And there were a couple sold between like 80 to $120. So yeah, so I listed mine for 105 free shipping and but I had two of them. You'll see the other one soon. Uh, one of them I accepted a best offer, I think, of like $95. And this one sold for $105 with free shipping. And it went in, in a, a box, first class, though. Here's another individual socket, a Snap-on Tools USA Deep Long Socket. Uh, SIM 400 was what was printed on the socket. And that's what I typed in to get the uh, comps. Sorry about those notifications, guys. As you can see, this tool sold for $24.99 with free shipping. And I think this one went priority mail. Unfortunately, it went in a padded flat rate envelope or it was right at the like 15 ounces. I don't remember exactly, but still really good profit. $25 sale for one socket. There were a bunch of these like air tools and impact wrenches. I'm still listing them to this day. Um, but this was an Ingersoll Rand impact wrench. Again, I've shared the brand from a couple other sales, but IR is what you want to look for right there. Ingersoll Rand titanium. I just typed in the model number and this sold for full price, $79.99 plus shipping. Next up, we got another single socket. This is a spark plug socket, a Mac tools long drive socket. This was like six inches long, sold for $29.99 free shipping, or I'm sorry, plus shipping. This was a uh, double ball hitch that I got, I think two or three of these, and this one was the first one to sell. Uh, the comps were not great on these. It was one of the items that was kind of like just included last minute, uh, but $25 went in a padded flat rate envelope, so I'm still making some decent profit there. Um, but yeah, so this was new in the package. Another Mac Tools individual socket. This is uh, sold for $13.99 free shipping. I'm still listing sockets individually too, but I pretty much picked out most of the good ones and those are listed, uh, but they are selling. Here's another missing set. Obviously you can see there's pieces missing right there, multiple pieces missing on this set. This is another snap on short drive socket set. And uh, this is size 19 to nine or nine to 19. And then in the title here, I put missing the eight, the 14 and the 15 and it still sold for $59.99 free shipping. This weighed uh, just barely enough to make it first class, I believe, um, and so I still made really good profit on that. This is one of two multimeters that I sold. You'll see the next one pretty soon, and I'll share a little bit about that one in a minute, but this is a multimeter Fluke 23. Apparently, Fluke is a very expensive brand for multimeters. If you see these out in the wild or at garage sales, pick them up. This one sold very fast for $89.99 plus shipping. And um, here's a better look at the unit, Fluke 23 right there. Uh, just something I really don't know much about, guys. And you can see they came with the original manuals and the documents and everything. It's just in really clean shape. Here's another Ingersoll Rand impact wrench. Uh, this is a pneumatic titanium half inch drive. Uh, again, in used condition, but still sold for $69.99 plus shipping. You can get brand new air wrenches, air tools, air guns, whatever you want to call it at Harbor Freight and Lowe's for cheaper than what I sold this used unit for. But people are very devoted to the brands that they love. And uh, they just like they like the saying, you know, they're just not made like they used to. So here's a Mac Tools clamp on timing light uh, just right there. TL82 clamp on timing light. Everything was literally printed right there for me to look up. Didn't really take much for me to do any work because I could find the comps very easily on all this stuff, which is why I'm sharing this with you. The tools were one of the easiest pickups for me because I didn't have to really look anything up. I just followed comps on all of it. This was a Healy Coil Spark Plug Thread Repair Kit. Uh, this was made in the USA. It was literally brand new, like never used um, or used like once. You can see how clean the unit is. Um, I tried to take a couple pictures just showing like there's the original document on the top or the sticker. And then here's the thread inserts with the unit right there. And just in the briefcase that it came with, this sold for 120 plus shipping. Next is another one of those Jeep diecast car sets. 
Uh, another one sold for $39.99 plus shipping. So another great sale there. Here is a Master Appliance Heat Gun. Um, this is a newer brand that I haven't shared yet with you guys, but uh, just a great sale as well. $79.99 free shipping. HG-751B, the Master Appliance Corp. Again, made in the USA. Any tools that are made in the USA, for the most part, are going to have more value than anything made in China. So, you know, you see Craftsman, Snap-on, Mac Tools, anything like that at a garage sale. Take a second look at it. Um, and most of the time people either sell tools dirt, dirt cheap, or they know what they have and they sell them mad expensive. You're not really going to find anybody selling stuff right in the middle. You'll typically find either people just trying to dump it because they don't know what it's worth or people that do know what it's worth and will tell you this is a hundred dollar item on eBay. I'll sell it to you for 80, you know, or something like that. So, uh, be on the lookout for master appliance. Here is the other multimeter that I sold guys and I accepted a best offer of this on this one of $260. This is a Fluke uh 88 multimeter with case and all these accessories and tools. Um there were a couple of these like coiled probes that were uh kind of falling apart there as you can see because these are really old. Uh but the rest of it was in good condition. I tried to take multiple pictures of all angles and um I powered it on and it was working. However, uh, the guy who purchased it from me actually la last night, I'm recording this video on February 6th. So on February 5th, the guy who bought this messaged me and said, it's not reading the ohms. Uh, so we're trying to work that out. He's checking fuses on the unit and making sure it's not something on his end. But most people that buy this stuff, especially when you're spending this much money on a unit, they know what they're doing. So there is a chance that I will be taking a return on this. Uh, but it was still a good sale if things work out for it that it was $260 plus shipping and um, You can just see it had all these accessories just in really good shape there actually there's a picture of the box fluke automotive meter, so I'm still really happy about this sale. I'm hoping we can work something out um, Even if I have to give them a partial refund and tell them to keep it uh, So we'll see what happens with that one this was one of the first items I sold out of this lot was a Rotozip Rebel Spiral Saw. I don't know if Rotozip is actually a Bolo brand, kind of like, you know, Snap-on or Mac Tools or anything like that. This only sold for $39.99 plus shipping, but it sold extremely fast. So, I mean, I guess Rotozip Rebel um, or Rotozip, if you're looking for power tools, might be a brand to be on the lookout for. I honestly didn't do much research on it other than listing it. So, um, but spiral saws, I guess, are a good thing to be on the lookout for. Um, I already shared that too. So here is the other Dodge Ram hood ornament. You can see this one's a little different with the spring uh, and the front attachment. This one, I was the one that I accepted a best offer. I believe I took a $95 offer on this one uh, just because I listed it and within, I think, two hours of listing it. I had a $95 offer and I said, Hey, let's get the ball rolling. I'll accept that. It's a good offer. And, uh, the, these were hood ornaments were in great shape. There's a better angle of it. You can see like no scratches or scuffs or damage to the horns and people who have vintage cars and trucks and stuff, you know, are very, very, um, devoted to them. I guess you could say, I guess there are a couple marks right there on the head. Uh, but either way, you can see it sold. Um, I accepted a best offer of 95 plus shipping on this one. So really thrilled with that sale. And the last one I'm going to share with you guys is this Chicago pneumatic air hammer chisel. Don't ask me what it does. I'm assuming it chisels with an air wrench. Obviously it like probably pushes back and forth or something like that. Um, I, I couldn't tell you what it does. I just looked up the model right there. This one was made in Japan and it says CP714. I typed that in and sure enough, there were really good comps on it. You can see Rock Hill, South Carolina, USA, made in Japan. I, I don't know what all these numbers mean. I just took the CP714, typed it in on eBay, found a couple of comps and found that this one had some attachments with it. Uh, and so I obviously included those and this sold for full price very, very fast uh, for $89.99 plus $10.99 shipping. 
So guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from these tools. I sure did picking up this bundle and I've made a lot of money. What I do want to share is a little bit of the breakdown real quick right at the end of this video for how much money I've made so far. So I paid $530 for everything that I bought and this is only 40 of the items that I've sold. I still have a ton or I think 38. I still have a ton of items left to sell. So there's probably way more profit. I'll probably double the numbers that I'm going to share with you, uh, maybe even more. But uh, in total gross sales, not including any of the items that the buyer paid shipping, this is just the sale of the item is $2,596.99. So two thousand, almost $2,600 in sales for something I paid $530 for less than two months ago. Um, is not a bad profit for sure. And it took me hardly any work because all the model numbers were written on the pieces. And you don't have to worry about most tools being returned because they're tools, they're sockets. They can't really break in shipping or anything like that. So um, I spent $330.60 in eBay fees on average for these sales. So you look at the $2,600, about 13% is $337.60. And then on the ones that I offered free shipping for, I'm about $50 in shipping costs right now for the units that I offered free shipping. That's an estimate. Uh, I haven't gone back and done each one. I can go into my spreadsheet and get an exact number, but I know it's less than 50, but I'm just putting 50 to give you guys a rough estimate. So in total, after cost of goods, eBay fees and my cost of shipping, I'm left with $1,679.40 in taxable income or pure profit, net income, however you want to refer to it. So for something that I spent $530 in, on and I'm already almost $1,700 in profit, plus everything I have left, I'd say it was definitely a good pickup. And um, I haven't really seen anybody else talk much about tools, especially on this caliber with Snap-on, Matco, Mac, Craftsman, uh, and all the other brands that I shared. So I hope you learned something from this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've sold any tools before. And I appreciate you guys watching. More videos are coming soon. I had some corrupted files on my GoPro. I lost some footage. So I haven't been putting out that many videos this week just because of that. I was trying to recover them. Couldn't get it. Uh, but there's some big things coming I'm really excited about. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace money!